do people who live in the decline of a civilization know that they're living in the decline of a civilization? I was talking with one of my friends the other day and he mentioned that, uh, hey, you're not gonna like this, Dylan, but the time for posting your opinions online is over. Like it's gonna get bad, basically he's saying, you know, it's gonna get bad and uh, posting your opinions online at this point just, just makes you a, a target for the future gulags. And I, I have some sympathy with that. Uh, I, I certainly um, can understand that, that line of thinking and then I don't necessarily fault anyone for, for thinking it. However, as I've thought about it, uh, I've kind of come to the opposite conclusion, which is if this is our end, then I would have us make such an end. Um, I, I would prefer to go screaming into that darkness uh, rather than, than silently waiting. I, I understand this, the sneaky warrior and OPSEC and all this stuff. And I, 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 like I said, I, I understand if, if you fall in that camp. But I think that if anything, now is the time when we should be talking the most. Um, and now is the time when we should be complaining and preaching the most because, again, if this is the end, if this is going to be the end of the republic and, and being conservative and being right wing will soon be criminalized and considered domestic terrorism and, and all these other things just for having a different political opinion, if that's it, if that's what's coming, then, then I would go screaming into that darkness. Um, I'm going to fight tooth and nail now uh, while I can. Uh, and I, I still can post videos online and whatever, and I still can talk to people, um, I, I would have us make such an end. The other part of me says, if you're not willing to say something now, what makes you think you'll be willing to fight for it later? I'm sure you've heard the uh, Mueller quote. Basically, he was a pastor in uh, Germany in the 30s when Hitler was taking over and stuff. And after he was kind of on Hitler's side or kind of... Uh, I don't want to say on his side, but, but was sympathetic, you know, you know wasn't, wasn't standing in the way. And he has this very famous quote that's something to the effect of like, first they came for the trade unionists and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. And then they came for the whoever and I did not speak out because I was not one of them. And then they came for the Jews and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. And then they came for me and there was no one left to speak out. And I think that's a, that's a very uh, insightful quote. Um, you need to really understand your own mistakes to say something like that. And uh, I think I don't, I don't want to do that, right? Like, if I'm not willing to say something now, what makes me think I'm going to be willing to do anything when it gets harder later? So my thought is I, I'm, I'm going to go screaming into that darkness. I'm going to say something now. I'm going to post things online now. And if things do get really bad and, and, that, and that gets me uh, bumped up to the top of the gulag list, well, then I guess that's pretty bad and we'll have to deal with it then. So this isn't to me about preserving myself. Uh, I want to preserve liberty in America and, and I'm, I'm willing to, to say something about that now. And so uh, I would try to win you to my camp, right? I would, I would cause that's, that's what I'm doing, I believe in it. I would try to win you to that camp of now is the time to say something. And if we're not gonna say something now, what makes you think we're gonna do anything later? Think about it, do brave deeds and endure.